Today, I am in pursuit of the mysterious ash log. No, just kidding. Actually, there is an ash log that fell out in the woods back here quite a ways back. And uh, I've been trying to figure out for some time how I'm going to get this log out of the woods because I don't have a tractor, first of all. If I had one, it would be a little hairy getting in and out because it's so hilly back there. And secondly, there's a lot of uh, kind of trees you got to go around and things like that. I'm going to have to get back there, cut this ash log down, and then try to pull it out. I'm going to try to use my truck to do that. I have an older Ford F-250. It's a 4x4. I've already went through the woods, cleared out all the debris, all the tire puncturing type devices. So we'll see how it goes. I'll take some video and hopefully I can get it done. After I get this thing taken out of the woods, I'm planning on taking it over to the sawmill and hopefully cutting some slabs with it. Dry those slabs and see if we can sell them. If you like what you're watching today, go ahead and subscribe. I don't do this full time. I'm not a YouTuber 100% of the time. I just make these for fun. So I don't have videos every day, usually every once or every couple weeks. But if you like what you're seeing, subscribe. Love to have you. All right. Wash off the windshield. I'm not too sure how well the camera will pick everything up out here, but we'll give it our best shot. I'm not even sure the truck will make it through the woods, honestly, if it's uh, too big or whatever. But here we go. Okay, just repositioning the camera here. I actually have to back up into this, and I have mostly an idea of where I need to go. There's a couple stumps that I need to miss. I don't want to hit those with the truck. This is the log right here. See, it goes on for quite a ways. And this actually came down, if I can find the tree here, it actually came down from this one right here, see? It's split all the way up there, so I'm hoping that this won't have too many checks or anything in it. It probably will have some, but hopefully it's not too bad. And now, what I need to do is cut this up into a length where I can get it out of here.
You know, oftentimes trying to figure out a name for a video is one of the hardest things. I think I might call this one how to cut a log with the dullest chainsaw chain imaginable. <laughs> um, I cut a whole ton of ash a few days ago with this chain and I noticed it was getting dull and I should not have tried to cut this with that dull chain. So I think what I'm going to do is I might just try to get the last of the life out of it, um, sharpen it and then come back in a little bit to finish up the job. <laughs> Okay, I didn't show the second half of cutting that back part of that log off of there. I figured you'd seen me suffer enough. Some of you enjoy that, I guess, but it was enough for me. I did get it cut out. I went and resharpened the, the chainsaw chain and I got through it a little bit easier than before without the smoking guns. And uh, this is the log right here. It is 22 and a half inches wide. Um, I do have another video of doing the review with the buck arch. This is made by Logrite. It's extremely well made. I've had it for, gosh, about two years now, I suppose. And so it's about time to do a follow-up review on this, but just a short one right now, it's excellent. Uh, you're gonna see me now hopefully pull this out of the woods, and then later on, like I said, I'm gonna saw it up on the sawmill. important things that people tend to forget about sawmilling um, is actually sealing the ends of the logs before they're sawn. You want to use a product that seals the end grain and will prevent the splitting and the checking on the end of the log. Otherwise if you don't lose this you can lose as much as a foot or even two feet sometimes off of the ends of the logs after they're dried. The product that I use, I'll show you here, this is called Anchor Seal 2. Um, you can get it at a store called Woodcraft. You can buy it directly from Anchor Seal. It is $33 for a gallon. You can roll this on, you can brush it on, you can spray it on, whatever. The most important thing is just making sure that you get... <laughs> My little helper decided to join me. The most important thing is just making sure that you get the end grain fully sealed in and saturated. You want it to soak all the way into the end grain. If you do that, it'll survive all the way through the kiln drying process and your, your lumber will come out well.
Some of you all always ask to see finished pictures of the sawmilling. Well, here you go. These are the nice ash slabs that I cut from the forest just a little while ago. They turned out pretty well. Now we just have to wait a little while, get them in the kiln and dry them, and then hopefully we'll be able to sell them, turn a profit. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe.